Welcome back, my friends. I have a super special uh, craft for you today. In your craft bag, you need to find, there's gonna be a blue sheet of construction paper, or if you use the blue one for your rocket, then you need to use the black one for this one, okay? So blue or black construction paper. Then there's some cardstock. It's a little bit thicker than your construction paper, okay? And I think there's a polka dotted one, and then there's a solid one that's a little, little smaller. And there's gonna be different colors. Yours might not be these colors. They might be yellow, they might be orange, they might be pink. I don't know, they're all gonna be different. And that's okay, because we are making monsters. Look at that. We're making a monster. We're gonna send a monster hug. And we can do it for Father's Day, or if you wanna do it for Mother's Day, whenever you're watching this, or just because, okay? You're gonna have a little craft bag in there, a little baggy. You're gonna have some red yarn. You're gonna have some googly eyes, different sizes, different colors, and a couple of sayings. Here's a monster hug. And then I have a happy Father's Day, but if you want to swap it out for Mother's Day, you just get that out of your craft bag from the one that's for the rocket ship, okay? At home, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a glue stick. And maybe, depending on how you do this, maybe some white glue, some Elmer's Works. I have some craft glue here. And then crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have lying around that works that you want to use, okay? First off, take your paper, your, your card stock. Now, my foot's too big, so I had my daughter do it. I traced my daughter's foot, because hers is the only foot that's smaller than mine in my house. I, had, I traced her foot right on that paper, and she, even though she's almost nine years old, she's wiggly too, so it's okay if they're wiggly, because it'll make your monster look more fun. This is gonna be your monster body. All right, because I don't have a foot to trace today, I'm just going to draw a monster. And if you don't want to trace your foot, you don't have to. I just thought it was funny because one of our stories is about a Yeti. And another name for the Yeti is Bigfoot. And I thought it was funny to make our monster a foot. No, it's our little inside joke. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to make your own monster, you can. So I'm just going to draw a monster. But you could just use your scissors and just cut out a shape. Whatever you want to do, you could do a square monster, a triangle monster, a rectangle, I don't know. What's a, a dodecahedron? I seem to remember my husband saying that. I think it has 12 sides. I think that's what that is. Don't quote me on that, though. See, I drew, I think it looks kind of like a cloud. Maybe I have a cloud monster today. So whatever shape monster you want to do, you make your, you make your monster. And then you take your scissors and you cut it right on out. And this can be a Father's Day gift, a Mother's Day gift, a just because gift. It could be a just for fun, I want to hang it up in my room kind of a thing. It's your call, okay? Now what's our little, what's our, what's our rule for cutting around curves? Little, little cuts. Open them wide and little cuts. Yep. And the fun thing about this being a make-believe monster is if you mess up on your cutting, no one's gonna know. Nope. Most of the time when we make a mistake, nobody knows we made a mistake but us. So you can just pretend that you meant to do it that way all along. I don't know if you ever watched Bob Ross. He, he does painting shows or did painting shows. But he used to call those things happy accidents. And I am all for that. When something doesn't go quite the way you thought it was going to, sometimes it can end up being even better than what you planned. Happy accidents. So now I've got my cloud monster cut out. You might have a foot monster. You might have a heart monster. You might have, I don't know, 
Like I said, a dodecahedron. I don't know. Got our monster out. Take your googly eyes, put them on there. You might want them all over your monster body. You may want them in one spot. You might just want to draw your eyes. That's totally up to you. You can use your glue stick, pop them on there, or the craft glue, whichever one works for you. I like this big one, right in the middle. And I think I'm gonna do a big eyebrow too. Big hairy eyebrow though. Yeah. I think he needs a couple more eyes though. Maybe a pink one. Maybe a pink one. Boop. And a green one. Oh, he stuck to my finger. There we go. And how about a mouth? What kind of mouth? Maybe, my, maybe I have a surprise monster. I'm gonna make a big circle mouth like he's surprised. Oh, look at that. Yeah. When you got your monster the way that you want him, you gotta make your hands. So get your other paper out and you can trace your hand, okay? I'm not going to trace my hands because they're kind of big, but I did my daughter's hands. Yep. If you don't want to do your hands, you can make your own. You can do shapes. So I think I'm going to do shapes today. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to make some triangles. So if you want to save time, you can fold your paper in half and then just trace one hand and then cut it all together. So I'm just going to cut out one triangle, but it's really going to be two triangles because I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut right on that fold, and now I've got two triangle hands. Then you've got your yarn. If you want, you can line it up with your arms. This is my daughter's arm length, so it's a little short for me, but you line it up with your arm length and trim it down, and then add the hands, and that's your hug. That is your hug, yours, everyone's different, your hug you're sending. So I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. And this is where you probably wanna use the white glue so that the yarn sticks better, or if you have some tape lying around the house, you can cheat and use a little tape. I'm not gonna tell. Yeah. So, now if you did your handprints, or even if you didn't, you can decorate your hands. You can give some funny looking fingernails. You can make your hands hairy. You could give some nice nail polish. Maybe you have a very fancy monster. Maybe your monster got a manicure today. Hmm? You could give it rings. Whatever you choose to do. Now, after you glue your hands on, you have to be patient and let that glue dry, okay? I should have let this sit upside down for a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. There's my glue. So you gotta be patient and let that dry. So we're gonna go over to our paper. Now I didn't put this one on paper. So if you like it, like it is, you can tuck that up into an envelope and give it to somebody you care about or hang it up on your wall, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna put it on a background, you've got your paper and you can fold it in half and make a card out of it. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna fold it in half and make a card. So while this is drying over here, I'm gonna fold that in half. And I think I'm gonna put my monster on the inside. So he's kinda like, I mean, gave him that surprise face. So maybe you see him, boo! What do you think? Sounds logical to me. So I'm gonna use my glue stick. Put a little glue on my monster. And remember, what's our rule with glue? 
Just a little. A dab will do. You can always add more. It's very hard to take away too much glue. Put your monster right on there. I almost forgot. We have to carefully slide his arms behind him. So it's a good thing I just used a little glue, right? So I can lift him up carefully and then press him back down. Now, if you don't want to use the paper, that's when you carefully put the glue on the back of your monster and then let your monster dry. Or cheat and put, put tape on there if you've got some like Miss Desiree did at home. Yeah. Then we're gonna set these aside to dry a little bit longer. On the outside, I think I'm gonna put my Happy Father's Day on the outside. But over here, I put it right on my body. I said, here's a monster hug, Happy Father's Day. I think over here, I put my lid on my glue and it stuck to my arm. Over here, I'm gonna trim this a little bit and put it on the outside. And you can decorate the outside of this if you decide to make a card. You can decorate it to your heart's content. Maybe you want to draw more monsters. Maybe you want to draw, draw, draw a big eyeball looking. I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe you want to draw things that make whoever you're giving this to happy. Maybe they like fish. Maybe they like cars. Maybe they like flowers. It's up to you, however you want to do it. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Happy Father's Day. And then on the inside, I'm going to give this a trim too. I think I'm going to put this right under his shocked mouth. Here's a monster hug! And again, you've got space on the inside. You can write your name, you can write a note, you can draw more pictures. And then once all your glue is dry, you can sneak the arms in and close it up. Give it as a gift. Monster hug in a car. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time.